So here we have x and y given in its parametric form. That means x and y both depends on the parameter theta. So using this information, we need to obtain the derivative of y with respect to x. So let's begin with whatever we're provided with. So here we are given x equals to a times theta plus sine theta. And our x and our y value is given as a times 1 minus cosine theta. So what we'll do, we'll take the derivative of both two functions, x and y, with respect to theta. So first, let's take derivative of x with respect to theta. So this will be equals to a, a being a constant, that gets multiplied to derivative of theta with respect to theta. So that's 1, plus derivative of sine function will be a cosine theta. And we'll also take derivative of y with respect to theta. So this is going to give us a multiplied to so 1, derivative of 1 uh, being a constant, it will be 0 minus derivative of the cosine function is negative sine theta since we already have a negative sine here this will be simply positive sine theta now in order to find out derivative of y with respect to x all we have to do is take the derivative of y with respect to derivative of y with respect to theta and divide it with derivative of x with respect to theta the derivative of y with respect to theta that's a o times sine theta divided by a times 1 plus cosine theta. So that means derivative of y with respect to x is given by sine theta. So here a and a gets factored out from both the numerator and denominator. We have sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta. So this is the uh, required value. If we want, we can further simplify this. For let's say we know from the half angle formula, sine theta is given by 2 times sine theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2. And 1 plus cosine theta is given by 2 times cosine squared theta over 2. So if we use this value and replace it in value of sine theta and cosine theta, so we will have 2 times sine theta over 2 multiplied to cosine of theta over 2. Whole thing divided by 1 plus cosine theta, so that will be 2 cosine squared theta over 2. So the ratio, so here 2 and 2 gets cancelled away, 1 cosine theta over 2 from both the numerator and denominator goes away. We are left with sine of a cosine and that's tangent theta over 2. So this, uh, uh, both the two values, sine theta over 1 plus cosine theta, or we can also take tangent of theta over 2. This will be the value of derivative of y with respect to x. And clearly, we are also obtaining our derivative in terms of our parameter theta.